Okay, so if you're here, it's because you have an error like what you see on the screen. On the left side, you have someone running Terraform plan first, and on the right side, you have someone running Terraform plan second. As you can see, it's going to be in a lock state because we're running it second. Um, and then you can run Terraform force unlock the ID that's given, and you'll see that it will give you a prompt. You can hit yes, and it's going to unlock it. So you can ignore the error at the end. That's just because we unlocked it before the plan completed. So most likely you already got the answer you came here for, so you could stop watching. Otherwise, if you want to dive a little bit deeper, you can continue watching and we can break down. Okay, so let's just very quickly break this down. Uh, first and foremost, it tells you it's in a lock state. Um, the most important thing that it provides is the lock info ID. Second thing is path. That's the path to where it's actually storing the, the state file. In this case, the storage account here. That's the path to it. Um, it also tells you the operation type. If it were a Terraform apply, it would say operation type apply instead of plan. It tells you who, it tells you the version, uh, the date. This is a documentation page for Force Unlock. You can see that it gives you a base idea of how to do it, very straightforward. It has one option, which is Force, so that doesn't prompt you for it. Last thing I'll leave you with is to be careful when you're running it, because if someone else is running the apply and then you Force Unlock it and you run your own apply, you're going to have a huge issue there. All right, so that's it. Uh, important timestamps and links are inside the video descriptions. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by and feel free to check out my other videos.